Okay, so welcome everyone uh, to our team call tonight. Uh, most of you are excited about our guest. We have Kristen Richards on, who is currently a three-star diamond, but five-star qualifying. Uh, Kristen is uh, a local coach here in the DC area, and that's the, how I know her. She attends our Super Saturday. And uh, I know she's an Instagram expert, so that's why I asked her to come talk to our team about Instagram and how she gets so many customers every month using Instagram because um, I know we all know Facebook really well, but it's good to expand to other forms of social media like uh, Instagram, for example, you know. Uh, so uh, I will go ahead and turn it over to her and uh, she'll give us some training and then we'll open it up to questions. And I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. So take it away. All right, thank you. All right, guys, I'm really excited to talk to you about this um, because actually, I think about a year ago, I had dinner with Greg and we were sitting next to one another and I said, you know, what social media platforms do you use? Like, how do you, how do you know how to have like a website or a blog? Because I just knew Facebook and Instagram. I didn't have a blog. I don't have a website. So coming into this business, it just amazes me when I hear of other coaches using other platforms. And he told me, and I said, oh, well, I use Instagram. And he's like, oh, my teenager used that. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's, it is funny. It is, um, and I'll get a little bit more into that. But, you know, I, I love um, these types of calls. And that's why I always encourage everybody, if you're a new coach or a seasoned coach or you're a coach growing a team, talk to other coaches and ask them what they do because – it's so good to just hear tips or reinforce something that you're doing and it will really help you to propel your business. Um, so let's go on to my next slide. My name is Kristen Richards. I am a mom of two boys. I have an eight year old and a four year old. I'm a wife. I am a registered labor and delivery nurse. I still work full time and I have worked full time building around this business. Um, I will officially be five star tomorrow, three star lifetime, um, success club, um, all star next month will put me at all success club legend. Um, and I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I am the founder of fit feisty nurse on Instagram <laughs> and my team is team Inferno vibe. So that's who I am. Um, I became a coach in October of 2013. And the way that I got into Beachbody was I was attracted to it. Um, my coach had sent me a friend request. We had one mutual friend. Um, she lived in New Jersey. I kind of was like, who's this creep show randomly friend requesting me on Facebook? Like I was very private. I didn't want to talk to people I didn't know. But because her Facebook was public, I was able to make like a stalker and watch her posting her workouts with her kids. She was drinking a superfood shake. She was, um, that the one post that got me was the team cup flyer. And I saw all these happy faces, all these married people. And at that time in my life, I had just had a family tragedy and I was in a huge state of depression. So what attracted me was that post team cup flyer. I asked her what she did and I went into this business just having no fear because at that point in my life, I was at rock bottom. So it was, it was, uh, it was an outlet for me. It was something fun and positive. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what a, what an emerald was, a diamond was, star diamond. I just honestly wanted to feel better about myself and I wanted to help other people. So what I did was I said, I started sharing on Facebook. That was my major platform. And in my team, when I started the training, they, you know, I was always taught pick two social media platforms. Well, Facebook was already kind of established for me. I had no problem making it public. I took down my albums. I changed my settings. Being a nurse, you know, it, I did have to follow some boundaries, but I made sure that I had that one ready to go and started sharing. So even though I don't have a blog, my Facebook page is my blog. I do talk a lot about what I'm doing and I 
voice my concerns. That's how I got the name feisty because I just kind of tell it as it is. And what happened was I was getting really good with that, but I knew I needed another social media platform. Well, the one that I had already had was my Instagram account. So I started looking into that of how, how can I bring more people to my Facebook? What, what platform can I use as a lead generator? And I sat and I thought about it and you know, you have the blog and you have the website and you have Twitter and you have LinkedIn. You have all these social media platforms where for me, I just shut down. I thought, well, if I'm not doing that, I'm not going to be successful. If I don't have a like page, I'm not going to be successful. You're not supposed to run a business on your personal page. And I get that. But I also know that I get to share my life and I get to kind of play around with it now. So if you are somebody who is sitting here right now and you have not picked your social media platform, that is the very first step that I recommend to all of my coaches with this type of training. That and the number one thing is being consistent. You can, you can pick 5 million social media platforms all day long, but if you are not consistent with your posting and your vital behaviors and getting out there, then it's not going to be effective for you. So tonight's call, what I hope to do for you all is to teach you um, pretty much the basics of Instagram use. I'll kind of skim through that since a lot of you may be familiar with that. Um, I want to help you develop your brand in your name if you haven't already done that. Um, how to create eye-catching images, uh, gain followers, and to build a quality from your followers, but also how to invite and how to connect to other platforms. So you're going to see in my presentation that yes, I use my Facebook consistently, but my Instagram, I am able to build a following there, get customers there, and bounce into my Facebook. My coaches, I, I have two Canadian coaches that I got off of Instagram. So Instagram for me is like just that, that, that power, that power leg that's helping me bring new people in each month. My goal has always been Success Club 10. No, non-negotiable, that has been my set from the start. And I tell people all the time, my first year in this business, I may have only had one or two working coaches, but the compound effect happened where I was hitting Success Club 10, it started overflowing to where I had new people coming in, I had new development happening, and I can 100% say that it was from my Instagram account. So, how did I get started with Instagram? Well, three months into the business is when my war market kind of dried out. It was December of 2013. December is like the worst month for me in both years in my business. Like I struggle so much in December. So I said, you know what? I need to learn how to use Instagram from Kristen Richards to how it's going to tie in with my business. So the very first thing that I did was I enrolled in Shalene's Instagram Training Impact. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this program and why I love it. Number one, it is an investment. It uh, was $100 when I bought it, but at the time, I saw it as an investment where I could learn the business. If you're a new coach or um, if you are strapped on time, I will tell you too that this program does take a lot of time. It's an amazing training for $100, but it will take a lot of your time. So I'm gonna kind of give you glimpses of what I learned from this program, but also what I've learned from other websites and different things like that. So even if you can't afford this program or if you don't wanna do this, um, there are tons of free resources out there. So now I'm gonna give you the basics so you can write this stuff down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, careful. It's okay. Ask questions and then come back to me and let me know how it works for you. But I think this training has been very effective for my team. I've done this call for other coaches. So hopefully this will get you started and get you going. So we're going to get right into it. All right. So first thing is you. Branding you. It all comes down to a name and Instagram. Um, it is... As you can see, um, my following's actually gone down, but I have quality followers. 
I have people that have been following me for almost two years now. And when I start to think of, okay, who do I want to attract? What is my niche? Well, the age range that I've worked really well with is 25 to 55. That's my age range. Anybody under 25, I don't usually do so well. Um, but I know that that's, that's the age range. Who's the girl that I want to target? I want to target busy moms. I want to target busy nurses. I want people with a busy lifestyle because that's what I am. Um, I'm a nurse, so I like to promote health and I like to teach health. So I knew that I wanted to relate that out there. So fit, I'm into my fitness. Feisty, that's my personality. I say as is. Some people love that. Other people run from it. So I come with a disclaimer with everybody. <laughs> and then the nurse, uh, that's where I connect to a lot of people. They can come to my page. They can see that I'm a mom. I'm a wife. Um, a fitness and nutrition coach. Labor and delivery RN. I'm a makeup artist. Um, I have my email, my Gmail account there. And then right there, do you see that? That is the link to my personal Facebook. So I'm going to show you how I use those special features. But Gmail and my Facebook is how I get my leads from Instagram. But I have to know who I am talking to the same way you guys need to talk to. So write down right now, what are the four to five things that describe you? Who are the people that you want to help? What makes you? So if you're a mom, um, you know, Anita Myron is fit, happy mom. If you are a dad, you know, um, you know, fit dad, something, something that relates to you and your business. Because if you were to go on Instagram right now and you were looking for that perfect challenger or that perfect coach, you're going to be scrolling through names. You're not going to stop on Greg Garnfield. Unless you're a celebrity, unless you're a top, like, I'm talking like even the top coaches who use Instagram, they use, they use an alias name because you want something that's catching to your viewers. You want them to say, huh, what's this fit feisty nurse? Let me check on her. Bam, there's a quick rundown. We've got short attention spans. They can see who I am and then they can scroll and go through my page. Um, and I'll talk more about those posts. But I'm always giving free advice. I uh, love free clean eating groups. Clean eating is a passion of mine, so I do like to teach those. I do a five-day quick group. Um, and I'm always giving without expectations. I'm always talking like I'm talking to my best friend. So I think that's why I love Instagram, because I can be me. I can be who I want to be, and I can share my love for the things that I do. But I also kind of hide behind the scenes of Beachbody. So some coaches will put their Beachbody link on there. You will look at my page right now. Unless you scroll through, it'd be really hard to tell what I'm doing. Some people are like, well, what are you? <laughs> are you a personal trainer? Like, no, no, I'm not. But that's how I start the connection. I keep them guessing, but I'm giving them tips. I'm offering free advice. I'm showing them how a busy mom is, you know, doing, doing a three-day refresh. I'm on the final day right now, guys. Like, oh, my gosh, I'm so ready to eat in the morning. I worked a 12-hour shift today at the hospital. And now I'm on a call with you guys. So people want to know how you can do this. They, they have to have that validation. So uh, for me, this is my way of showing them. And hopefully it will give you guys some ideas of how you can create your Instagram um, account or, you know, start a new one. I don't want you to, if you have a great personal account, I don't want you to be like, oh, I have to go change my name and I have to do all this. You can find what works for you. I just want you to know this is what has been successful for me and how I have built over time. There's no right way in doing this. This is just my personal take on it. All right. So how do you guys create catchy images? These are my favorite apps. Um, Word Swag, Pick Play Post, um, A Beautiful Mess, Photofy. Perfect video. I use perfect video to make my video for Super Saturday for Greg from my phone because I can't survive without my phone. I'm never near my computer. And I just recently found out about Keynote today to make this <laughs> presentation for you all. So get familiar if you're busy or if you're not computer savvy like Greg is and, um, you know, he, he can do all that. I'm like, I have a Mac and I don't know what a lot of these buttons do, but I have it and it's here. 
Um, so these are some apps that I use. It's quick. Um, when I'm at work, this is probably TMI, but you know, in the bathroom is when I can get a quick post. So everybody's like, how do you do it? What's your time management tips? It's getting these apps, it's mastering them, and it's making clear images to help you with your account. People like to see eye-catchy stuff. So I want you now to write this down. I want you to start looking at the things that you're attracted to. Who are the accounts that just draw? your attention or what are some likes and interests that you have that you're just kind of like, oh, I really like that. Because if you're attracted to that, then you can kind of take that and make your own your own spin on it because those you'll attract those types of people. And we work better with people we're alike. All right. So Instagram, do not be the selling. You know, like I have coaches who tell me like, I keep getting the it works people and the Avocare people and uh, you know, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, and I'm using like this hashtag Shakeology, and I'm getting all these beach body coaches. Like, ah, it's frustrating. So, I'm gonna get into that, but I want to start off by saying, um, Instagram, no selling. Don't sell. Don't say, you know, who's ready? I have this challenge pack deal. You just saw my Instagram account. You're not. You may very rarely see something like that—a call to action. But there's a better way to do that but the first is you have to earn it you have to put yourself and and give people tips that they want to see before you can put a post out there with a call to action but use your pictures get happy with the camera um you know use the selfie sticks i'm telling you it seems silly but the the selfie is a new generation embrace it like i'm gonna hashtag it um, here's some examples that I love from Lena Starr that she did that was just amazing. So you think of it, what does your life look like? So you could have a transformation picture. It's a long road, but it's worth it. And you can say, you know, what are you scared of? Failing or success? You have to take the long road anyway, so you might as well make it worth it. That's going to inspire somebody. That's going to add value to their life. Um, you know, I always get a lot of likes on pictures when I do my makeup or if I put on an, a fancy outfit because most of the time I'm a hot mess, I'm a mom, and I'm working out. But when I put those on there, people are like, wow, like, you look awesome. And I'm like, thanks, you know, this is a rare occasion. But when you guys do that or if you um, are on a date night or if you are out just enjoying the sunshine, think of all of the different ways that you can add value and inspiration and dreams to other people. I did a picture last night on my Instagram account of uh, I had a whiteboard and I was showing my, my brand new coaches and coach basics, coach placement 101. And I did a post on that. And I said, how many of you would be interested if I did a live periscope on the compensation plan and how this works? My Instagram account instantly today, I have 10 leads in my inbox just from that post. I've never done a post like that, but I was like, you know what? I have been talking so much about my personal transformation, my growing business. I posted a little bit about Nashville. I got to tell Shanti how much he changed my life on camera. That's on my Instagram account. And then people were like, I want to know what you do. Like, how, what do you do? But they, they got a glimpse into my life to where they can say, okay, she's doing this. How is she doing it? I can connect with her. I'm like her. I'm a busy nurse. I'm a busy mom. She is now making an income where I could quit the hospital. I, I could, and I share those things, and I'm very proud of, of those things. So think of that, guys. Go after it. Dream big. I'm telling you, people are watching, even when you don't think that they're watching, but it's up to us to put that stuff out there. It's up to us to be consistent with the posting. If you don't show up for your business, people aren't going to show up to watch you. So think of it. Think of it as your own personal reality TV show when you are getting these posts together. If you're struggling with um, uh, finding content, a lot of my coaches do struggle with that. Make a Pinterest account. Get on there. Make a folder on your computer. You see something that you like, put it in that folder. So when you have Sunday, when you have like an hour or two to prep for the week, prep your posts for the week. Get your pictures life cast whenever you're out doing something you know greg does a great job when he's on his bike i'm always like man i want to go on a bike ride like 
I want to do that. <laughs> but I don't have time to do that right now. But he got, to, he got to retire from his corporate job, and that inspires me. So think of that. Think of not only inspiring people you don't know, but inspiring your coaches and other coaches, and it just gives you something to look forward to. When you're posting about challenge groups, this is another way. Um, you know, your transformation. I have so many coaches who are like, well, I don't have a transformation. I'm like, all right, let's do a three-day refresh. Three days. You, you can do a three-day refresh. If you want something quicker, let's do a 21-day um, transformation. You don't have to have this amazing transformation and put yourself out there, but you can post that you are going to be hosting a challenge group and you're, you're super excited because your, your kids are back to school and now it's time for you to sit down and commit to yourself or now is the time to start learning to build a, a business. So the coaching opportunity and an inviting. So share, showcase you, Shanti, Shalene, Doggy, let, let Beachbody do their marketing. We are not gonna, we're not gonna go down that route. And then again, um, Janelle Summers is probably one of my favorite accounts to follow. Hers is amazing. I, I like love, love, love her pictures. Um, again, you just take pictures of your food whenever, you know, um, this is bad. But my coaches, they do work out. But my really busy working coaches, Shalene and her Instagram impact will tell you, if you're short on time, take a couple pictures of your workout in different tank tops. Um, you know, different poses, just so you have them on your camera roll. You know, nobody has to know that it, that was a, the same photo shoot in the same day. But if you are, are like, I just don't have time to post, I can't get this in, that consistent behavior is part of it. You have, you have things, you know, and content already on your phone where you can hook up with one of those apps I just told you about and create your image. This three-day refresh down here that Chelsea did. It's another really good um, account to follow. Um, I'm sorry, guys. These images didn't come out as clear as I wanted them to. And then the pick play posts. People love pick play posts. They like to see these the, the workouts, so lighting's really good. Um, add your favorite song. On Instagram, The they won't flag you. If you add music to your videos on Facebook, they get mad. They don't like it. Don't do it. I got blocked from posting videos for six months on Facebook. I don't recommend it at all. I'm telling you. <laughs> but if you want, you can use Pick Play Post, put your music file on there, put it on Instagram, and then there's a button that you can share to Facebook. And they don't, Facebook doesn't get me that way or a YouTube link. So I hope that made sense what I just talked about. If not, we'll, we'll go back and refresh on it. All right, so now the question is, I have decided I'm gonna use my, my Instagram account. I've mapped out my niche, I know my brand, I know how to create content and images, I know the things that I wanna post, now how the heck do I gain followers? In Shaleen's Instagram Impact, they will teach you a way of different strategies on gaining followers. Instagram is all about like for like, comment for comment. So if you are expecting to gain a following, you have to also be willing to kind of go after a following. This is where it is delegated in different ways. There are websites like elance.com that you can actually hire people to grow your account. Um, it's something that I ha I tried for two weeks, didn't really like it, um, but I know coaches who have had great success with that. But again, it's a little bit of an investment. So a, I can't teach my team to make all these investments when a lot of them don't have the, the financial you know means to invest. So I don't want you to think you have to go out and spend a lot of money on this, um, but the way that you are starting to gain followers is – um, through hashtags. And I'll talk a little bit about when I go to the next slide. Um, but I'm going to show you right now what I do and what has helped me um, the most. And then I'll break it down to the other options that you have. So now I'm going to go. All right. So I use this app called Instagress. 
It is a website that pretty much you can customize what you want. This works for me when I'm sleeping. This works for me when I'm at work. This works for me with people that I want to share with. So um, it's $10 a month, but for me, it is a way that they will go on and they will like um, this company will like other people's pictures. They will comment on other people's pictures, but I get to target my niche. Just like if you had a like page, how you can target your audience. This is what you can use for Instagram for targeting those people. So I'm going to come down here you can set your settings, but some of the comments that I have up, love this, gorgeous. Wow. You're amazing. Like things that I would actually write on a picture. Um, those are the things that I use. Um, and then down here, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you may or may not know what hashtags are, but I found hashtags that related most to me. So again, nurse, um, I'm a mom of two boys. So mom of two boys, um, moms with muscle, fit life motives, fit life problems, workout, workout motivation. So these hashtags are being dispersed to, and, and that's how they find the people that I want to connect with. Um, the hashtag, you click this, it, if you do any type of hashtag on Instagram, it will bring up different profiles of other people who have used those hashtags. So right now, while we're talking, my Instagram is working for me so that when I have the time, um, to actually sit down and invite, I'll get into that of how that works. You can also set it with locations and you can stop and go. There are specials on Instagram that you can buy. Again, it's about $10 a month. But to me, this was the greatest in investment I have ever made in my business um, because I, I just, I, I can't sit and devote a lot of time. So this is what has helped me. Um, now I'm going to go into how you convert your followers to customers. But before I move on, do you guys have any questions about Instagram? Are you like, what? Anyone? Okay. All right. Um, so how do you convert the followers to customers? Um, well, what I do is once I have the, the following from the Instagram, I can go on my Instagram and I can start looking through different accounts. So then I create a list just like a customer list. I have Instagram accounts that I follow. So at that point, I'm like, okay, I really like this um, mom, this, uh, let me see, Body by Tay is one of my rock star coaches. And I connected to her through Instagram. I found her. She has some amazing pictures. She's working out. And I'm like, wow, she's so inspiring. She's got five kids. I started following her. And I put her on, I call it my, my creeper list because I just start following these people and I get a feel for them. I almost start interviewing my coaches through Instagram before they even know what I'm doing. I start liking their stuff. I start commenting on their stuff. So what am I doing? I'm building a relationship. I'm getting and I'm forming it. Once I am confident or if, it's a, it's, if she's liking my stuff then I know she's seeing it, I'm going to start making posts just for her. Um, different, like I get into the customer mindset. I'm like, what would this person want to see for me? How can I get them to believe in my vision? Um, I see she's a nurse. Is she ever complaining about, um, nursing or is she tired in her job? Is she burned out? Because those are posts that I can use to get her over to the dark side is what I call it. Good side. But when I convert them, it's like a, whoo, I get to check them off my list. So you guys can see when you're like, I just don't have anybody else to, I don't have anybody else to invite. My leads are going dry. How do I build this business? That's how I do it. I talk to them. I form relationships and I use a list to comment, follow up. And then when I have a call to action post, a lot of them, you know, I'll say, if you want to learn more about this mom, this mom accountability group that's being hosted, email me, kristenrichards13 at gmail.com. Or drop your email below. So they'll leave their emails below and I can then go, I have scripts already made for my email leads. Um, if I'm like, if you want to connect on Facebook, my link's in the bio. Instant 
click and then I have a new friend on Facebook. Um, I, you can instant message on Instagram. That's the only thing guys I couldn't, I couldn't show, I couldn't figure out how to show on it, but you can actually instant message on Instagram the same way you can do on Facebook. If they have Facebook, I'm always like, I would love to talk more to you. Um, do you have Facebook? And they're like, yeah, I'm like my links in the bio, let's be friends. Um, and then that's how I get them over there. So Instagram is like my cocktail hour. I can go and mingle. I can hang out. It's a big social event. It's fun. Um, I can connect with people who like the same stuff I do. And then I can invite them over to Facebook, which is my living room. <laughs> that's how I compare it. That is where I give more of myself, more details of my life so that they see that I'm real. I mean, a lot of people, they look at my Instagram and they're like, wow, you're, you're really who you say you are. And I'm like, absolutely I am. And then they meet me in person and they're like, you're the same girl. Yes, that is what we are. We are we're, we're just living, living this the most passionate way we can. And that's what I try to instill in my coaches. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Be who you are because then you'll attract those people and then it just becomes fun. And the cocktail hour in the living room, it becomes your team and then it becomes your family. Honestly, like my team is like a huge family to me now. And I'm sure you guys probably feel the same way about your team. You guys have an amazing, huge team. It's inspiring and awesome. Um, so the call to action post, building momentum. Again, it starts at the beginning, that consistency. So if you, I want you to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. How consistent are you with your post? How consistent are you with your three vital behaviors? Because the way that I can check on my coaches on if they're doing things, I'm like, I want one post that has a quote from your personal development, either in your content or on your picture. That's the only way I'll be able to see that you're doing personal development. And I create lists on Facebook to watch them, to see if they're doing that. They get it on Instagram. Now they have two social media platforms. I have one coach. She only uses a like page and that's it. And she's successful. So it's the same concept, but it comes down to the basics. We have to know who we are, know who we're talking to and being consistent and showing up every single day. If you rated yourself at like a one, then I would say start getting used to posting more often. If you're rating yourself at a 10, but you're not getting likes, you're not getting comments, start looking at your content and your images. Um, and just start building a following. You can use the Instagram that will help you, or you can do it organically where you make a list of all the different hashtags that you like. You copy those hashtags in the comment section of your post and you can attract people that way. It's a little bit slower, but that's another way of growing organically going on other people's accounts and following them. It's just for me, it was hard to find these accounts because of the time that's allotted in my day. So this is like my personal assistant online. Um, and what else was I gonna say? I think that is about all I have. If you guys have questions, um, now is the time. I hope that made sense, sorry. Yeah, it made a lot of sense. Thanks, Kristen. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I never heard of that Instagram before. So that, that's pretty cool. So anybody who wants to get into Instagram, I, I would definitely invest in that, you know. Um, so do you find that hash? I'll start with a question. Um, mm -hmm. Are hashtags just as important in Facebook as it is in Instagram? Or do you think it's just a carryover thing? Yeah, I, mean, I see people use hashtags all the time. But um, like, do people actually search on hashtags and, and use hashtags on Facebook like they do on Instagram? They, on Instagram, it is important, but on Facebook, it's pretty much just for fun. Or if you go to the trending stories, that's really the only way your, your posts are going to kind of get seen in Facebook land. So that's an awesome question because it is kind of silly when you see all these hashtags attached to a Facebook post and like, no, <laughs> they're not going to, unless it's a trending story, unless you're like nurses united, you know, from the view today, you know, <laughs> yeah. then people might see my post, but it's, it's really not, um, not that big of a difference. Okay. And also I want to tell you guys, if you come across people who are like, buy fake followers, 
you guys saw, I only have 6,000 people following me. Those are organic people. Those are actual people. Those are not fake followers. I don't buy fake friends. Um, because it may look awesome that you have a lot of friends and, you know, and this popularity contest, but honestly, I would choose quality over quantity. So as you're building, keep track with your list. Um, stay away. Don't buy free followers because they will shut your accounts down. And, and Shaleen does mention that in Instagram impact. And if you guys want to master Instagram, if you have the time and you're like, I really want to know the ins and outs, that program that Shaleen has is amazing and she's constantly updating it because social media changes every single day. So that's another perk of having it. She's always like optimizing it in a way. Cool. So uh, folks, you can take yourself off of mute. Um, hopefully you know how to do that. Or you can post in the chat and ask some questions. I have a hi. quick question. Yes, hi. Um, hi. I was just wondering in terms of how you're kind of bringing people over, are you usually having conversations with them in the comment section of their pictures or your pictures, or do you do a lot in terms of the Instagram direct? I know that's something that I have barely touched on, but just kind of curious how you're working those conversations into Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it depends. If it's somebody that I have been watching for a while for my contact list, I'm making it, I'm doing the... Um, have you guys heard of Jab, Jab, Right, Upper Hook? That book? I forgot to tell you, that personal development book is what you need for social media training. I do little jabs back and forth. So I'll go and I'll like their picture and I'm like, wow, girl, I love your form. You're doing awesome. She'll come back and comment on mine. We go back and forth, maybe for a couple days. It depends on how, how much I'm building the relationship. I think in my mind, am I looking at this person as a challenger or am I looking at this person as a coach? Because I'm going to spend more time watching and growing if I'm after them as the coach to add quality and value. Now, if it's somebody who is interested and comes across one of my call to action flyers, like say for the new mom group, um, I'll, I'll say, if you want more information, go ahead and email me. And a lot of times they will email me. That's my call to action, G, the Gmail. Or if I'm like email or DM. DM means direct message. So a lot of people will then direct message me. If people like the post, I, if I don't know them or if they're not on my following list, I will then direct message them and say, hey, I saw that you liked my, my flyer. Um, I see that you know, you, you're a mom too. Um, how are you? And I'll start forming the relationship there. I hope that answered your question. It did. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a quick question, and yeah. I, I may, you may not, you may be able to answer it, and maybe you won't. Um, I, want, I have a question about like consistency with posting. Normally, I would post my workout pictures, my sweaty pics, and I would like do a pic pay post with like uh, that and my calorie burn and my and an inspirational picture. I always did like those three things. Well, lately, I've been having some health issues, and I can't work out as much. I mean, really, I'm not I'm not supposed to. Yeah, and. Um, Wondering what other suggestions for content would you at, um, suggest that I do? Should I just do? Are you? I are you? Wanna, I don't want to put my whole illness out there. You know, right, right. Because that's not not really. I don't want to look come across as negative. I don't want to come across. Oh, I can't work out today. Oh, it sucks. You know what I mean? No. I want to stay positive yeah. and not give away my personal information right. too. You know, I know exactly how you feel. Um, my little brother has been missing since April. Um, and so I went to Cancun with a very heavy heart and I almost didn't go. And I have been struggling hardcore guys, um, with my workouts and different things like that. So I don't always come out and say, Hey, I, I mean, I do share here and there, but my team knows, I let them know if I'm struggling that day. Um, but I just put it out there. I'm like, you know what? Uh, you know, I made a post, it was a, a pio, and it said something like, um, if you're going through hell, don't look back, or I don't remember what it was, but I don't usually cuss a whole lot, and I wanted, I was just so mad that day that I was like, you know what, I'm mad, but I'm just going to do a stretch. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to still keep going, even if I can't be where I was at before, that's okay, because people see that you're real, 
You know, you don't have to come out and say, I'm sick. That's not being negative. That's not, you know, looking for somebody to, you know, have, it, it's, it's actually getting support in a different way. So find, find things that inspire you to keep going through your illness and what makes you happy and, and just staying in a positive mindset. And you can say that. You, you have the right to share how you feel. You know, people love that. Thanks. Does that help? I'm yeah. So sorry. Thanks. Um, I'm praying that they find your brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, there's a couple in the chat. Heidi says, new on Instagram. Don't have a lot of pictures under 100 friends. I feel like it looks bad for someone checking me out. What would you recommend for that? I feel that looks bad to someone. Okay, so this is where you are going to start being consistent and posting four to five times a day, like Shaleen says, and start building your photos um, and just posting three to five times a day. Just keep going. And then, then she could use Instagram, right, to go like a uh -huh. whole? Yep. Because the thing is, is Instagram is not going to work if you guys aren't posting. You know, they're going to see that you're, it's like, well, what is this account? She didn't post, she hasn't posted for two weeks and it's, you know, all of a sudden it's a workout picture and now it's pictures of her dogs and, you know, her car and, you know, you'll see that. So um, just keep consistent and think of your theme. Like, what is the theme of my page right now? Who, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to accomplish? And go into that. Um, yep. Michelle asked, do you have two separate accounts, a personal and a business or just one? Now, my, my personal, I took down all my pictures. Actually, you can go to the very bottom and see some of my pictures, but um, I, I started personal and then I switched it. But there are people who have a personal Instagram and then they have a feature page. Shaleen talks about that on her Instagram impact. I personally have not done that. I've looked into that. Um, Lauren Murko, who is pretty underscore fitness, you can see what that looks like. Pretty underscore fitness is her feature account. And then if you click on her link, it takes you to her blog. And you can go to her, her personal Instagram. She's got a really good account. Just to kind of give you an idea of what that meant. But no, I don't, I don't have time for, honestly, Facebook and Instagram is really for my business now. I get on and I get out. I do what I need to do. Okay, Polly says, does Instagram also post to Twitter and Facebook um, from an Instagram post like Instagram does? So I think they're going to get confused with like a Hootsuite or a Buffer or something. It's not for scheduling posts, right? Mm -mm. No, there are, it's, like, it's like a personal assistant working for you. You're just putting in the preferences of what you want. Like for me, when, when we got ready to launch to Canada, when I found that out, I like messaged my assistant when I had one this time. I was like, you need to find all the girls in Canada <laughs> because that market hasn't been touched yet. I was like, you've got to find them. Go find them. <laughs> so it, it finds them and then it likes their stuff, right? And it yeah. comments on their posts. Mm -hmm. So yep. you know, I've never, never heard of anything like that for Facebook. Basically, you're going out and you're finding other people's posts and it's commenting and liking their stuff. So As you. then come and follow you and like your stuff mm -hmm. you guys get it it's a it's different than, yeah. than anything so yeah it's awesome it's just once you figure it out you know and then you kind of play with it but the instagram is what changed my life because i actually paid somebody to do what instagram does she still is amazing and i love her but i don't use her as much as what i used to um, because now I've, I've really guys too, I haven't been as consistent on my Instagram because right now I've been pushing a five star. Like I wanted to be five star last year. I didn't even have, like, I couldn't even come to meetings and, and up in DC and do those things. Now I have kind of more time because I was building around a full-time job. So I had to find shortcuts and just find ways to help me. It's still up to me to post. It's still up to me to form those relationships and invite and have a call to action. Um, but this is just a tool that has helped me in the, in the grand scheme of things. And I didn't learn that from Instagram Impact. I learned that from our free website. <laughs> but I never would have gotten good with my post if I hadn't had the Instagram Impact, I don't think.
So what, what kind of um, calls to action do you do on Instagram? Is it just inviting to your clean eating group? No, let me go through and see. Um, and after, after I run the, um, the ad, just like if you were on a like page running an ad or a post, I hide it or I take it down. Just so it doesn't look like all I'm doing is inviting or I, I'll take those call to action posts down. So um, my, last, my last post, I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a back to mom challenge. It starts Monday. Um, but I say looking for 10 to 15 women who are in serious need of losing 20 to 30 pounds. I always have like a catching line that will catch people's interest. So if they're like, oh, yeah, I'm looking to lose 20 to 30 pounds. And, you know, I, I said, I've been hearing so many moms and women taking drastic, unsafe measures to lose weight. My heart is breaking. As someone who has been desperate to lose weight, I know how frustrating this can be. Not having the right tools or support led me down a very frustrating path. After my transformation and as a nurse, I feel I owe it to others to share. Sharing the same healthy methods for losing and keeping the weight off for good busy or not. Um, and I just keep going on. And then I said, if you are, in, or if you are serious about changing your health, nutrition, or fitness levels, then this is the place for you. Kristen Richards, 13 Gmail, email me or drop your email below and I will get back to you ASAP. And I got, yeah, got two emails on that, but I got more people. Not everybody likes to drop their emails below. I get it, but I still got people talking about it. It wasn't like, join my challenge group. Most of the time, people don't even know what a challenge group is. You know, you need to put out there what you're looking for. And then I earn, but I earn that right to post like that. You know, I, I got to, to put a little bit of a long post. In the beginning, you want to kind of keep it short, sweet, simple. Um, and I'll find some examples of my newer coaches who are doing that. And I'll, and I'll send them to you, Greg, so you guys can have some more um, examples to look through. Um, I did, I have been posting more about my coaching. So I did a post of it's like, can I share something? And I did a little bubble of like my week earnings. Obviously I have to have a disclaimer on those and I'm really careful about sharing my earnings. But now I'm starting to show people who have been following me the potential that they could have because they work out, they live a healthy lifestyle. And this all roots back to how I was attracted to this business. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to be me again. And I needed some, I needed a community and I was attracted to the beach body lifestyle. I wasn't into this for the financial aspect. Now I am now that I know it, <laughs> but I, that, that wasn't, I, yes, I wanted to help people, but I wanted to feel better and helping other people made me feel better. So my posts are directed like that and it, it does, it's pay it forward and it has come back tremendously, but I had to, I had to put myself out there. You know, I had to say what I was looking for. Um, I wonder if there's any, there's some other, I take them down. I should have had some more examples for you guys. Um, you know, I did a transformation picture like when I was 17, when I was 25, and then when I was 29, and I did like a, you know, when I was 17, I didn't eat right. And then at 25, I had two babies and I was miserable and I never got in front of the, the camera. And now I'm 29 and I'm in the best shape of my life after having two kids. I'm proud of that. I can talk about that, you know? Um, it's just things like that. Here's, Kristen, you, you talk about earning. So my Instagram, I have uh, 374 followers. So I really have two questions. One is, you know, when do you feel like it's okay to start doing the left hook and the uppercut, you know, that type of thing? Because I'm doing, I post two to three times a day right now. Um, and I don't want to jump over, you know, and do it too soon. But then also um, the followers opposed to following. Right now I have 374 followers and 169, and I'm following 169. Is it best to do, because I see a lot of people where they'll just follow a ton of people to get follows. Right. I don't know what the best ratio is there. So, yeah, the, um, the left hook, when to do that, and then uh, – followers I would create the list and and the, the people that you're following right now or the people that are following you I would go and start looking at their accounts and I would write their name their account names down on a piece of paper and I would look at what they're posting are they somebody that you what kind of left you know what kind of 
what kind of hook can you give those people? So you're, you're, you're really knowing your people and your customers because then you can speak to them. If you're like, man, I really think this would be an awesome coach. You know, they're, 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 they're staying accountable. They have this amazing transformation. They would, they would just rock being a coach. How can I get them to where they're seeing my stuff? You start bouncing back and forth and then you can find a post in your mind. It's just like, aha, I have this post. I'm going to post it. Um, and hopefully they see it. But if you formed a good relationship or you can even reach out to them and say, you know what? I've been following your account for a while now. And man, I just need to, I need to like talk to you about something. Like I, I really think I have an opportunity that I would love to talk to you about. But you can't start off as a stranger saying that because if I was, if you came to me like that, I'd be like, okay, what are you trying to sell me? Nope. I was the person that would run away from the kiosk people at the mall. <laughs> so, you know, so think of, think of the relationship where you're at, but don't be afraid to put those, those posts out there now, you know, because you don't, you feel like you don't have that following. The biggest mistake I ever made in my business was not talking about the coaching opportunity in the beginning. I thought I had to be a certain rank. I thought I had to be at a certain place in my business. That's probably the biggest mistake I ever could have made in my business. So post a, post a, post a hook post, see how it goes. Let it run maybe a day, take it down and go back to posting your consistent, you know, workouts or your favorite recipe of the day. Um, Transformation Tuesday, Tasty Thursday, Wacky Wednesday. I think of these themes for each day of the week to keep me on track. And also, I give that to my coaches. You know, I give them duplicate systems. So as you're doing this, start writing down the, the process that you're doing because ultimately you're going to be handing that down to your coaches. So what would you say to a new coach? Um, you know, what kind of posts could they make about coaching if they're not making very much money or any money yet? Mm -hmm. So I, I have them post about the, um, the coaching lifestyle. What do they love about Beachbody? What do they love about being a coach? Um, the, the team, like uh, we'll do a Zoom call or we'll do, oh, Saturday mornings, we have an accountability group that does uh, Zoom workouts together and we will we'll post that. It's really cool. We did size. The, the, we we're all like, you know, in the morning. And it's just an open workout for them. We make it fun so that other people that are like, oh, this seems like fun. I want to learn more about it. Then you can start talking to them about the conversation plan. But my new coaches, I literally, with the get started right, I will sit down and I will, I pretty much go nursing style on them. I want to know their fears. I want to know their why. I want to know what, what would be holding them back. I want to know things that would get in their way from keeping them accountable. I help them craft their story. I help them pick that, that um, avatar that they're after. And that helps, that gives them the confidence where they're like, okay, I'm not like you, but this is me and I can use the tips and tools that you're giving me to find my own voice in Beachbody and, and, my, and my life. Beachbody has changed my life. It's changed everything about my life. Like I could sit here and cry for all the ways that, and for everything that's going on in my life, if I didn't have Beachbody, I really don't know where I would be right now. So I share that. I share how much my team means to me and what they've done. Um, Jeremy Red posted on my timeline tonight, and that was like huge for me. And I like posted my team. I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, this is because of you. This isn't because of me. I was like, this is huge. Like, this is happening because of you guys. So it's just always building that confidence in your coaches and in yourself um, and finding, finding those, those ways to just make it happen. You, you don't have to know everything about the business. You just have to know what you love about it and how it's changed your life. And people see that. So. Any other questions? Hey, Kristen. Hi. Thank you for your tips. Um, I had a question on, you said the Instagram messenger, mm -hmm. where did you find that? Cause okay. I'm on Instagram basically almost every day, but I was, I, I like to always message people away so nobody see in case there's some stuff I don't want them to post right. or comment. So, so, oh, before I answer your question, is your Instagram private or, um, public? Okay, good. That's another thing. Make sure your Instagram is 
public because it's like having a store and turning the lights off and letting them look through the windows you want to open shop so what you do is you click the camera uh -huh. okay and then oh yeah prepare yourself so whatever picture is in your last camera roll so this is mine prepare yourselves nurses are attacking i was going to do a post on that <laughs> you click next And then see where it says followers or direct here? Uh -huh. You click direct. Uh -huh. And then it brings up your list of people. So uh, poor Sam. I don't want to message her. Uh, we'll just do this, girl. So <laughs> I'm going to send this girl this random picture. But you can put your message in here. Okay. Okay, so hi. Well, this is random. Okay. And then you click send. And then it pops up like a message. So see, these are all my messages, just like in Facebook Messenger. And I go and through and I delete and them. It only goes to her, whoever you send it to. Yep, yeah. it only goes to her. Awesome. Yep. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. I was like, I can't figure out how to make a PowerPoint slide for this. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So you guys, I'm going to tell you one more time. You go to your Instagram. You click the camera down here. You find a picture, so for me, I'll have a picture that just says hi with a little happy face. Click next. Instead of followers, because that will post to all your followers, you're just gonna post to direct, find the list of whoever you wanna talk to, and okay. then click send. Can you choose more than one? Uh-huh, you can do a group message now with Instagram. They just changed that. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And I would take screenshots of your screen and then you can plop them onto a PowerPoint or whatever. Yeah, you're right. See, this is why I need you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should have done that now that, I talk, now that you're saying that. I wanted to make like little cute arrows and yeah, buttons and stuff arrows. like that. I wanted it to look good. I wanted to be perfect. I wanted to go pro on your call. <laughs> All right, guys, any other questions? Did you guys feel like this helped you? I hope it did. Like, that's like the most important thing. You're not confused. If you have any other questions, again, we can make like a, a face or in a Facebook message, like a group thread. If you guys want to message me any questions, um, I'm more than happy to help. Like I said, I don't have a ton of followers. Um, like some coaches do, but now that I've gotten my team where I'm at, I'm going to start, I'm going to be over on Instagram. So follow me, Fit Feisty Nurse, and uh, I'll help you guys along the way. So thank you so much for having me on your call. Yeah, thank you for being You're on. Welcome. Absolutely. All right, guys, talk to you later. Yeah, thank you. You're all welcome. Thank you so